Just saying. So as you guys are writing that down, I am going to call on my next guest. I'm so excited for you guys to uh, meet this amazing woman. Uh, you've actually met her before, but we, we need to do an update because, you know, Ingrid is just, she's an amazing woman and she's been with the Academy almost a little over, well, just going on a year, a little over a year now, but I want you to meet Ingrid. Ingrid is another amazing success story. And, um, I'm going to have her talk to you guys about these top six inflammatory foods because she no longer eats these. And I want her to share with you exactly how difficult it was for her to be able to get off of these foods. So, hi, honey. Let's bring you on, sister. Are you there? I there am she here. is. Hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> hi, beautiful. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm so great. Have you been on the whole time? Yes, I have. I watched did Sherry. Did you start She's crying? On. You know, it, it got to me. I got to admit, yes. <laughs> She's our sister, you know, and just like you. But, but you were in a similar position with her, as, as she was about a year ago. Because you've, yes. been, you've been doing now this protocol. You've been doing this protocol for about a year, right? Just over a year. Um, I was one of your first newbies and that was back in february i believe that i joined a year can ago can you february. believe how how amazing this year has been tell me no, about it tell it, me it's, tell it, me how you were feeling before you started this and just give your girls a little history about your diabetes where you were and just just talk about that a little bit yeah it's you know i feel so good these days it's so hard to remember how awful it was at the beginning but I had, you know, all the, the usual symptoms, like my stomach was always upset and I never really knew why I just, and you know, the funny thing is when my stomach was upset, if I ate something, it made it feel better for a little while. And then back, it was like a pattern, right? I had uh, leg cramps. I had tingly feet. Um, I was very worried about losing my limbs going forward. Um, and one thing I never did mention to you is my legs and ankles used to get quite swollen and that just doesn't happen anymore. Um, I wasn't able to sleep properly. I'd be up all night peeing or, or just not getting a good night's sleep. Um, I was very depressed and I was basically tired all the time. And yeah. that was the old days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? And your A1C was at 10. And it was at you, 10. You on how many medications? 10, 10 pills a day, 10 yep. medications a day. And four of those were diabetic and the rest were like, um, high little off lines from being, yeah, but all caused by being diabetic, high cholesterol. So but, what, what prompted you to say, you know what, I, I'm just, I just want to be done with taking medications. I want to be done with, I just want to be done. I want to feel better. What was the the reason why what you really got to, to me decision. was the neuropathy I was experiencing. It scared me. Uh, it scared me a lot because, like I said, I don't want to lose any toes or feet or anything, you know. So that's when I decided this is getting out of hand and I really need to do something about this. So, um, but I didn't know what to do or where to go. I, so I hit the internet like all of us and I started Googling and just researching and I came across a few sites but I came across Terry's site and uh, it was the one that intrigued me the most. Um, there was so much information and she just seemed, you just seemed so genuine. Um, so I pursued it and I believe, and that was in January and you had an opening going on as of February one. And I jumped in and I thought, you know, I'm not going to go anywhere, but keep getting worse. So um, I'm going to do this. Well, I, 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 I specifically remember you because you, there was no hesitation with you. I mean, I remember doing a, back then I was doing calls with people who wanted to work with me because I was structuring a little different. And I just remember when I talked to you, you're like, no, I'm in, I, I just, I'm done. And I just, you were at such a, you were a lot less animated. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you were very, like I said, I was very depressed you at were, the time. Yeah. And, and the, my heart my heart broke at that time, but then I'm like, I, I just knew 
I knew I could read you really well. I knew that you would be a rock star because you just were ready to go to work. You were sick of being, being sick. People don't even realize how sick they are until they start to feel better. For sure. You just, it's part of life. You just kind of accept it, you know, because you don't really know what's causing it, what's going on. It's just a day-to-day -day thing. So can you tell the girls, tell the audience how old you are? I'm going to be 67 in a couple of months. <laughs> Look at you, girl. And, and, and so for the people that are saying, I am too old, I mean, oh my gosh, you look like amazing. You look like you're in your 50s. You look amazing. And that's and how I for feel. Some of these people that are saying, oh, well, I'm just, there's no way. Some people in their 50s are saying they're, they're too old to do this. I'm like, what? Come on now. That's offensive. <laughs> It is. Yeah. I mean, I was what, 60, 65 when I started this, you know, it's, it's not an age factor. It's a health factor. Yeah. And you know, you're, so you're, let's talk about your weight is you're down 65 pounds. Yes. I've added five more pounds. Yay. <laughs> so you went from a size, you were a size what? Um, two X, uh, oh. 20, 22, you know, I was up there. And I am now down to a very proud size 10 pants. And, oh, uh, my word, girl. A large on top. I'm a large. I'm not uh, double X, two X, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and so actually, anybody who's watching us saying that you are feel like you're too old, to, whatever, I don't uh -huh. even want to hear it. I want to sick Ingrid on you because Ingrid yeah. is the perfect example of, but here's the deal. Not only are just a prime example of, of somebody who just is committed and, and, and was, did the work, but you had a really amazing attitude the whole time. I just wanted to get better. That's, that's the whole thing that was in my mind, and I was going to do whatever I had to do. But, you know, looking back, it really wasn't that hard, Terry. Um, you give us such uh, excellent guidance and tools and uh, how can we fail with everything that you provide us with, you know, and it's step by step and gradually it wasn't even that long. I think it was only about three, four months, maybe when one day I woke up and I realized, hey, uh, life is good. I like myself and I felt better and I was starting to lose quite a bit of weight at that point. And yeah. It's, well, it's girl, been, you were you know, 65 pounds heavier and on 10 medications do you understand what 10 medications in your body does well of course you do because you live I do but now I do now can you yeah. even believe that you were on 10 medications and now you're down to a half of a I mean seriously you're a new you're a new you're actually a new woman yeah 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 it's those 10 pills I mean I had to drag this this pill bag around wherever I went you know it, it yeah that was not the way I wanted to lead the rest of my life that's for sure and as I have discovered, it was the medications that were making me so sick. That and the 12 fat foods. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So let's yeah. talk about that really quick, really shift, <laughs> shift, shift, shift the topic because I just went over, I haven't gone over the 12 bad foods yet because I'm doing that next, but I went over the top six that cause inflammation. Yeah. So out of those six, which is sugar, GMO, dairy and meat, gluten, oils, fried food and soy, which one of those six do you think you consume the most before you learned about, you know, what we teach in the academy? Without a doubt, sugar. Without a doubt. Sugar is everywhere. Yeah. It's hidden. It's in front of you. It's, yeah, sugar was the big culprit for me. Yeah. And did you have a lot of cravings? Oh, yeah. I was sweet tooth galore. Really. And how really, is it really now? Um, oh, it's improved. I would say 95%. Uh, when I do have something sweet, it's, it's according to protocol, and it's still just as tasty. And you're satisfied um, with just... Very. Actually, I no longer, you know, I mean, I'm human. The odd time I have something I'm not supposed to have. And after I had a bite, it's like, oh, this really doesn't taste as good as I remember it, or it's too sweet, or uh, my taste buds have changed so much that the foods I used to love, I no longer enjoy. Yeah. Isn't so that, uh, that alone is a success. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, it's so true, Ingrid, because, and as you know, because you, you are, you know, you're part of the academy and you see what the girls, all the girls that are coming in, the newbies that come in, you see the, one of the big struggles for everybody. Every woman that comes in the academy is their cravings and their, their relationship with food. Yes. Right? Yeah. And so if we don't work on that relationship with food, which is one of the key things we do in the academy, 
you're never going to be able to reverse any chronic disease because yeah. you have to eat, right? You can't just not eat for the rest of your life. And, you know, but food is like a drug. It, it can be as addicting as alcohol or, or marijuana or, you know, you know, drugs, right? Yeah. And so we have to be able to identify and change our chemistry in the body so that we can be able to change our desire for fruit because we most women have an over desire well you you have done an excellent job teaching me the opposite you know i i'm just i'm very proud of myself how far i've come and all the weight i've lost i i have to admit i am proud of myself um and you know my boys and my friends they're all saying to me well ingrid you really need to stop losing weight now you're getting a little bit skinny <laughs> never <laughs> in my whole life has anybody ever ever said that to me it's you know i've never heard ingrid don't lose any more weight <laughs> so i love it i love it bring it on <laughs> i know you look so amazing you do thank it's, you it's yeah. it's amazing how we when our our bodies reflect our, our external bodies reflect our insides, which is, which is so important for everybody who watches this interview. It's, it's so important to know that this is what I want to help, what we want to help these women with is their inside because they'll never change their outside if they don't change their inside. And, yeah. and that is where it's just so important for women like you. By the way, everybody, Ingrid is now uh, on staff at the Academy. I couldn't be prouder. <laughs> she does an amazing job. She um, has been, you know, doing what, about four months now you were. Yeah, about yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, you about know? four months. And so it's a lot of fun. I'm having a good time. Yeah, and you do a great job, of course. But um, so it just goes to show you that this is a lifestyle. This has to be a lifestyle. This has to be. You can't expect to do any program and, and, and tr attempt to try to do it for one or two or three months and then say, oh, well, I'm done. It doesn't work that way. This is why half of you in the audience watching have failed because you've gotten, gotten programs where you have been left to your own devices or you quit. Right. And I was very much the same. I mean, all my life I've been yo-yo dieting from Weight Watchers to Dr. Atkins. I mean, you name it and I've done it. And it lasts for a couple of months. And then once you're off the diet, the weight goes right back on. Yeah. So, uh, and you have taught me and, and the rest of the girls that um, it doesn't need to be that way. It's a change of lifestyle. I had to laugh at Sherry saying she now craves cabbage because <laughs> uh, <laughs> who would have thought cabbage? <laughs> well, the other day, um, I think I actually mentioned it to you. It goes back a couple of months now. Um, I was craving a big pan of roasted broccoli, believe it or not, you know, and, and that's so much different from chocolate cake or, or butter tart or, you know, <laughs> anything. <laughs> so your work has paid off with us, Terry. Oh, you're, <laughs> you're as cute as a button. I just love you too. I know I told Sherry I loved her, but I, I have such a love for you too. I just, you are an amazing human being yeah. inside and out. You're beautiful inside and out. And I'm so proud of your work which is been shared with so many of the girls in the academy and you're such an inspiration to so many women and i just want to thank you oh it's my pleasure i, I really enjoy uh, working with you and i love you too i love all the ladies and, and it's yeah. amazing the sisterhood we have developed and it seems like the more girls are joining the bigger it gets you know it's just uh, we're a great group we are yeah. And you're going to be actually back in a, a couple of days to we'll talk more about that. But I just want to, again, thank you for coming and sharing your very powerful and impacting story. And I know you've touched a lot of people's hearts tonight by sharing and being vulnerable. And I appreciate it. And again, so proud of you. Oh, uh, thank again. you, Terry. It's All right. my pleasure. Talk to you soon. Okay. Okay. I'm going to put her back to roll. There we go. Awesome. All right. So. You know, what can I say? It, it, it's just like this is, this is the type of result that you guys can all have. And, and every night this week, I am going to be teaching you what I teach in the academy. And you are going to be able to meet these women who are here to inspire you. And also, you know what else they're here to do? And, and Nika's coming up next. And wait till you hear Nika. She's going to give you some tough love. But no, but...
you know, these women are also here to, to say, hey, ladies, what in the world are you waiting for? Why are you waiting to take care of you? Why? What excuses are you making to stop eating the six top foods that cause inflammation? Why are you, why can't you just, why? Why are you not making the decision, right? And so we have to get to the bottom of that because when you sit in stagnation, you never grow. When you sit and you don't do anything about it, you're not going to do anything about it. You've got to, some of you got to step up and make the decisions to start taking control of your health. It's the same thing I said when I started the inflammation or the, um, the build your immune system series, right? You just got to do it. You were forced to do it because of COVID. The, you know, the, 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 the surroundings kind of made you like take action, right? Well, those of you in this group who have been sitting on prediabetes, diabetes type two for a long time, it's time to take action. You know, Ingrid, a year ago, some of you guys have been watching me for a year. What are you waiting for? You know, Sherry, six months. Think where you will be in six months from today. Six months, you can be where Sherry's at. She's only been at this for six months. Some of you have been in this group for six months. If you would have joined me six months ago, look where you would be. So some of you got to quit waiting. Quit waiting. Quit waiting to make a decision to do something about your health. All right? Okay. As I said, before we talk about fasting, because now we're going to talk about fasting, and we're going to talk about um, um, that, I want to quiz you. So I want somebody to tell me what the top six foods are that cause inflammation. Type in the comments the top six foods that cause inflammation. Let's see who's paying attention. Then I am going to mail you a...